from Utah's number one news channel. This is KUTV 2 News at noon. Utah and Wyoming investigators combed through evidence to figure out who killed a UTA maintenance worker. Welcome to 2 News at Noon. Kay Ricks disappeared from South Salt Lake last week and was found murdered in Wyoming. His family says they want to focus on his life, not how he died. And right now his body is being transported to his hometown. Jeremy Harris joins us with what that process entails. Jeremy? Yeah, Ron and Mary, the family here has asked for their privacy, but they did invite us today here to the medical examiner's office where they told us that the body of Kay Ricks would leave the custody of the state medical examiner and be taken to a mortuary. Now, we were here when the body was loaded into the uh, into an SUV where it was taken down to the mortuary. We have some video of that, and it was escorted by two UTA police cars that will be a, that escorted the body down there to the mortuary, left here at about 11 o'clock this morning. Now the family of Kay Rick says they are taking this time right now to kind of separate themselves from the investigation of his death and just remember him for the man that he was. He was described as being very loving, a very dedicated employee of the Utah Transit Authority. And it, this was his truck that he was last seen working in. And, and he, that was really the key piece that was missing from all of this. They didn't know where that truck was and it was ultimately found just a, yesterday up in Pinedale, Wyoming. Now investigators continue to look into the suspects in this case, which uh, potentially DJ and, and Flint Harrison could be connected to this. But again, right now the family's taking time to focus on the loss of Kay Ricks, again as his body being taken from the medical examiner's office where an autopsy was performed, now headed down to the mortuary. As far as funeral services, we're told that he there will be a public viewing next Friday on May 27th, and then he will be laid to rest with his at a, at a family ceremony next Saturday. Ron and Mary, back to you. And the family has just been so gracious, graceful through this whole thing. Absolutely, the most gracious that they could be. You know, they have worked through family spokesperson. We have not spoken with them directly, but they have been so open and so, you know, wanting people to understand what kind of a man Kay was. And, and I think, you know, them inviting us up here today to, to, to see his body be taken uh, from the medical examiner's office, I think shows that, you know, they are so uh, grateful because so many people have talked about Kay and, and focused on him and focused on the life that he lived. And that seems to be what they want people to focus on right now. Yeah, when you think about it, he has uh, about 2,400 fellow employees, right. too, who uh, have been yeah. shaken to the core by this whole yeah. thing. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right, thanks, All right. Jeremy. Yeah, thanks. We will continue to follow the story and bring you any updates as they become available. Be sure to keep it right here on Channel 2 and uh, also keep an eye on KUTV.com.